I have produced and directed the Obama deception because I spent eight years exposing George Bush as the criminal that he is. The war criminal, the person that butchered the entire Bill of Rights and Constitution and launched all these illegal wars and lied about WMDs and destroyed the name of my beloved country, the United States, worldwide. And after those eight years of studying what was happening in this nation, I knew that Barack Obama had the same advisors, the same elite, the same big Wall Street banks behind him. I saw him during the campaign already flip-flopping on everything he promised to do previously. And then after he got elected, just in those few months before he was sworn in, uh, he began to announce more trips to the Middle East and Central Asia and more secret arrests. And he was going to expand NAFTA and GATT when he promised to get rid of that. Let's deindustrialize this country. And so I began feverishly doing more research on Obama and making this film. We cover this guy's lies, how he's betrayed the people, how he's a Trojan horse. But more importantly, we get into his agenda and what he's really setting up. He is abolishing the Bill of Rights and Constitution to a level even greater than George Bush. He is bringing in a new world order and announcing that the private central banks that engineer the economic collapse are going to have a new bank of the world that we pay our carbon taxes to. And that all our cars are going to have satellite tracker boxes in them taxing us by the mile. And we're going to have youth brigades and a, a new domestic draft and that they're going to use the army on the streets of the United States. And th they're really unveiling martial law. And everything Bush set up that we were covering in horror is now being unveiled with the smiley, handsome, articulate face of Barack Obama. And that's what makes him so dangerous. The elite have bet everything they've got on Obama. They have been counting on him to suppress worldwide revolution against the globalist agenda. And so it's a crude parlor trick. You know, they have just come in and put a black face, as KRS-One and others have said, on the New World Order. So we're desperately trying to break that spell and let the people know they've been betrayed. We know that the public will finally wake up to the fact that they've been suckered and scammed. But we don't want them to wake up too late. We want them to wake up now that Barack Obama is George Bush and Bill Clinton and George Bush Sr. on steroids and the Obama deception proves it and that's why it's so important. But it's up to the people out there watching to make this film big. We're going to have it for free on the internet. It'll be in high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. You can burn DivX copies directly from our servers, pass them out to everybody. They can buy the high quality DVD at InfoWars.com. If people are going to share it, we recommend they do that so it's in higher quality. This film covers his lies, his real agenda, who controls him. It shows how the banks have destroyed the economy worldwide by design from their own documents. This film is powerful. We do know he lied about keeping troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. We do know he lied about warrantless wiretapping. We do know he lied about shutting down camps. We do know that he lied about getting rid of NAFTA and GATT is now expanding. And so this film is about Obama being a puppet, who he works for, and then we get past the puppet to the real agenda of his controllers, which is a one-world government. I mean, they have bankrupted everything by design. This film details how they bankrupted the world economy, how they control the currencies of the planet, and how the bankers want to destroy the economy so they can buy everything up for pennies on the dollar. That's why the Obama deception is so important. We've had this seamless transfer of power from George W. Bush to Barack Obama, like they're relay runners. And George Bush rounds up perfectly and hands off the baton, and Obama, the superstar, grabs it, and he's now sprinting, sprinting towards the goal to bring in the new world order, to bring in the global tyranny. And the public's cheering him. They believe he's going to defeat the elite, the evil corporations. He's been billed as this socialist who's going to give all this money to the people. Meanwhile, it's $9.7 trillion to foreign offshore banks and a few hundred billion to the people, giving the dog a bone, bringing in more federal control. We've got to desperately stop him and the globalists before they get to the finish line, and we've got a good chance of doing that because the globalist agenda is unpopular with the left wing, the right wing is unpopular all over the globe. Massive resistance to the globalist agenda has been rising everywhere.